so now we are going to discuss about emission from real surfaces we know that a black body is an ideal emitter in the sense that no surface can emit more radiation than a black body at the same temperature so it basically means that the black body emits the maximum amount of the radiation therefore black body is taken as a reference for describing the emission from a real surface so this was about the black body uh and because it is emitting the maximum amount of the radiation so it is taken as a reference for comparing its uh, emission with the a real surface now let us talk something about a uh, real surface a surface radiative property known as emissivity so here we are going to discuss about the emissivity is defined as the ratio of the radiation emitted by the surface to the radiation emitted by a black body at the same temperature so emissivity is nothing but we can say that emissivity is equal to emission from the surface divided by emission from the black body so this is the definition of the emissivity the spectral radiation emitted by a real surface differs from the planck's distribution so here what is uh, said is that a real surface will not emit exactly as uh, given by the planck distribution now this planck distribution is basically for a black body so if you see here that in the diagram you can see here this is the black body uh, emissive power or spectral emissive power whereas if you see that of a real surface this is for a real surface at a particular temperature means if a black body we are considering the temperature t then for the real surface at the same temperature t this type of behavior which is staggered actually which is not a sort of smooth uh, uh, variation which is uh, shown here in case of a real surface similarly if we talk about the directional distribution if you see the left hand side of this diagram which diagram the second diagram here so this is the uh, angular Uh, you can say uh, the theta direction actually this is the theta direction so with respect to this vertical direction this is the value for example if it is 10 degree here it is 20 degree here it is 90 degree so we are trying to see what is the intensity of the black body radiation and you will be amazed to see that this value is constant whether you take any particular angle actually because uh, Uh, a black surface is a diffuse in nature by that it, it emits same amount of the radiation in all the directions whereas if we talk about the real surface now this is i lambda theta so basically i lambda is nothing but it is the spectral distribution of uh, energy of a uh, you know, real surface in a particular theta direction so you can see here at this particular angle suppose it is 10 degree theta here it is 20 degree theta here it is 30 degree theta so you can see this value is actually reducing or rather it is changing so it is not constant from theta is equal to 0 to theta is equal to 90 degree so this is the basically directional distribution of a uh, real surface other than a diffuse surface so in case of a diffuse surface this value remains constant whereas in case of a real surface this value of i lambda theta t will be changing whereas i lambda b will remain constant so this is a important uh, concept here now here we are going to define the spectral directional emissivity now what is spectral di directional emissivity it is denoted as epsilon lambda theta means this epsilon which is the emissivity is a function of lambda as well as theta so uh, we can say it is functional relationship is between lambda T, theta and phi theta phi basically can be neglected also that we will discuss later on the spectral directional emissivity epsilon lambda theta of a real surface at a temperature t is the ratio of the intensity of the radiation emitted at the wavelength lambda and in the direction of theta and phi to the intensity of the radiation emitted by a black body at the same values of t and lambda so here we are not saying theta and phi because uh, a black body is uh, uh, 
uh, emitting energy at the same rate in all the directions actually so that is why it is not mentioned here so you can see here this is the definition of epsilon lambda theta which is spectral directional emissivity it is i lambda e this is the spectral emission from a uh, real surface which is dependent on lambda theta phi and p and divided by i lambda b which is the spectral emission of a black body uh, about a wavelength lambda at a temperature t so it is the ratio of both of these two quantities now we can discuss about two more quantities for example i am talking about now total directional emissivity when i say total it means i am talking about the whole range of the wavelength whereas directional means i am still talking about a particular direction actually so i am saying that this is the emissivity epsilon theta which is dependent on temperature theta and phi so total directional emissivity is defined as uh, it represents basically the spectral average of epsilon lambda theta and it is defined as i e which is uh, or spectral emissive power of a surface which is uh, dependent upon theta phi and t because we are talking about the directional part so now their dependence upon lambda is not there divided by i b and in case of i b which is the spectral emissive power of the black body we are not considering theta and phi because i have already told you that black body emission is independent of the direction actually so this is the definition of epsilon theta similarly we can define another property which is actually spectral hemispherical emissivity when i say hemispherical emissivity i am forgetting about the direction actually i am talking about the total hemisphere and spectral means in a particular range or at a particular wavelength range so it is represented as epsilon lambda and it's a function of lambda and t so uh, a spectral hemispherical emissivity epsilon lambda is therefore defined as epsilon lambda for the real surface which is a function of lambda and t divided by epsilon lambda b which is a function of once again lambda and t so we are not talking about any direction here because uh, we are talking about the hemispherical emissivity which is in the all directions so that is why this is uh, you can say spectral emissivity or spectral hemispherical emissivity of a real surface now once again it is the same definition which is written here it is spectral hemispherical emissivity and it may be related to the directional emissivity epsilon lambda theta by substituting the expression for the spectral emissive power using equation this one so you can see it here what is this this is i lambda e which is a function of lambda theta phi and t and what we are trying to calculate is we are trying to calculate spectral hemispherical emissivity cos theta sin theta d theta d phi and divided by so this is nothing this is basically epsilon lambda and in the denominator we are calculating the emissive power of a black body which is uh, dependent upon uh, lambda actually or spectral emissive power of the black body e b lambda so it is i lambda b cos theta sin theta d theta d phi and you know that this quantity is uh, basically independent of the direction so it can be taken out of the integration sign because it is only dependent upon lambda and not on theta and phi so let us see here once again the same equation is written here and then if you see this value this is uh, nothing but this is epsilon lambda theta so this has been divided here and it's a function of uh, lambda theta and phi and then cos theta sin theta d theta d phi and similarly here we have this quantity and then so this is the definition of epsilon lambda and if you want to simplify it we can simplify it uh, because uh, when we simplify it then we can calculate this integration and then we can also uh, when we integrate uh, get this value of when we calculate this integration we get a value which is equal to 2 actually and uh, here actually we have also integrated this part of d phi and when we will take it will come out to be 2 pi so actually calculating this part and calculating this part in total uh, value we get a uh, constant which is 2 and inside the integral sign sin theta varying between 0 to pi by 2 this is the quantity which is left so this is the value of epsilon lambda 
and if we want to calculate the total hemispherical emissivity means we are it is independent of the direction as well as the wavelength so it will be equal to f e as a function of temperature which is the emissive power of a real surface divided by emissive power of a black surface at the same temperature and this is uh, can be uh, set to be the emissivity uh, of a real surface so if uh, uh, you see this is the we can also say that emissive power of a real surface is given by epsilon lambda which is a function of lambda and t e lambda b lambda which is a function of lambda and t d lambda divided by eb eb was already there and in the numerator we have changed the value of e in terms of spectral emissive power of a real surface so spectral emissive power of a real surface has been uh, used uh, uh, has been calculating using this particular equation you can see it here so e lambda is nothing but is equal to epsilon lambda into eb lambda so that is why this is uh, the equation that has been come uh, written here and here we have calculated this value over the lambda varying between 0 to infinity so basically we have tried to define the emissivities in terms of uh, 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 mc power of a real surface then mc power of a real surface uh, in terms of uh, uh, spectral as well as the directional things so we can we have three things here one is the m epsilon then we have the definition of epsilon lambda and then we have the definition of epsilon lambda theta so this is independent of the direction this is dependent only on the wavelength and this is dependent upon the wavelength as well as the direction so uh, if epsilon lambda is known for a real surface then we can use this particular equation okay from this particular equation we can calculate the value of epsilon lambda or oh, sorry e lambda for the real surface what is e lambda for the real surface this is the emissive power of a real surface at a particular wavelength and from where we can calculate the value of e lambda b e lambda b can be calculated from this particular equation which is nothing but the planck's distribution law and similarly if uh, epsilon is known then we can uh, calculate the value of the msc power of a real surface using this particular equation and msc power of a black surface is given using this equation which is eb is equal to sigma t raised to the power 4 the directional emissivity of a diffuse emitter is constant that is independent of the direction so basically if uh, it is a diffuse emitter then it won't be directional emissivity it would be depending upon on the value of the wavelength actually however although this condition is often reasonable approximation all surfaces exhibit some departure from the diffuse behavior so this uh, is showing the directional emissivity of a surface which type of surface one is the conductor another is the non conductor so you can see it here in case of a non conductor up to 45 degree of angle the value of the emissive uh, directional emissivity is constant whereas after this value it starts reducing and it's reduced near to zero at a value of theta equal to 90 degree whereas in conductors it's very very near to zero up to 45 degree celsius and then it starts increasing and goes uh, up to maxima and then also reduces a little bit so that is the behavior of a uh, conductor 